Welcome back to Relatable Reactions, it's Josh and you've joined me for another episode of Norseman. And we're finally here, it's the final of season one. Uh, it's all built up to this point. Uh, we now have Jarl Varg, who has come to get the map to the west or got up this installation, but the only way they could do it was by smelting down all of their weapons and leaving them defenseless to this attack. Uh, which they proceeded to do while they were rehearsing the summer play. Shame, because I'm sure that summer play was going to be great. Ivid and Kark uh, have managed to rescue Orn. Rescue. He was kind of enjoying himself a little bit too much, maybe, considering the situation he was in. But they are dressed as females, and Yarvarg has just been told that they were in the dining hall. So he's now looking for them. Ivor did manage to smuggle some of those weapons into a tree where he hid them. So I'm sure they will come into play somehow. But yeah, let's just get right into the episode. Norsemen, let's go. Uh, we uh, found a secret exit. Wim uh, has escaped. Oh, he's got a stitch. We haven't exactly gotten very far from the village. Maybe we should... No, 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 no. The stitch is eating me up inside. I cannot walk a step more. I'm, I can't do that. A uh, stitch. It is quite painful. This hurts. They say that stitch is even more painful than childbirth. <laughs> what happened down there? If you think that I was involved in some sort of homosexual activity, you just couldn't be more wrong. According to Viking law, uh, you haven't been engaged in an illegal homosexual uh, activity as long as you are the active part and that's why i was so active with the with the fingers and <laughs> tongue and hip thrust and all those uh, things it's not illegal and no honor is lost so you haven't lost any honor no 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 no, no not at all on the contrary he's gained honor gained oh! well, they're really not very far away give me the map and i save your life Everyone else is going to be slaves, but you are safe. I don't want to agree to a deal like that. Orm would. My gods, does he really believe you're that much of a coward? Huh? Orm. He gone. Oh, I, I'm here. Here I am. Here. <laughs> I didn't really run away. That stitch went rather quickly. Coward. Oh, I, like you, wouldn't have done exactly the same thing. No one here would have sacrificed a village. That's easy for you to say, being all safe in a cage. Safe. Mm. Here it is. Orem, Orem. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling it might be the wrong one. <laughs> Large penises and erectums. <laughs> this is not a map. Maybe, maybe it is a map. Maybe it is a, it's a map of the body. <laughs> Oh, blood eagle. Blood eagles are very fashionable these days. No! Don't! 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 don't. I know exactly where the map is. Arvid has it. Arvid. Yes. That uh, retarded uh, right hand man. <laughs> Just forget about this blood eagle stuff and let me go. I know his weakness. Does he though? Does he? Leave? Yeah. That's me. You are to be defiled in the public. Defiled? Yeah. Raped in public. By the Earl, then? Does he do those things himself? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's well up for it now. So, come on. Okay. Yes. Be strong. Thanks. It's just outside <laughs> the door here. Arvid! I want the map! No honorable man would let his woman be! Penetrated in public. Do I have to do something, don't I? You, you can't attack them alone, armed with only a knife. I, I, I don't see that being the right strategic choice. What happened to the, the weapons he hid? Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is, I'm just not that uh, uh, comfortable doing this. My wife uh, back home finds out that I'm raping people on my business trips. It's, is really gonna gonna lose it. I have to do everything myself then. <laughs> Rape by an Earl. Now we're talking. Finally, I can't wait to get pumped full of power. Could I get a pillow? Because you get a better angle and your seeds will easier find its way up my birth canal. No pillow. 
obviously she she's not thinking clearly no definitely not turn your vex i don't need hundreds of eyes staring at my butt while i'm pumping the granny out of her come on he's gonna struggle yeah this is the last warning i read i'm about to penetrate your wife and soon we will become eskimo brothers i guess i should attack you yeah, I, I may have an idea I think I know someone who can help us. You stay out of this, Arvid. I have the chance to have a powerful <laughs> Earl see now. Uh, you said you had an idea? I think we draw the line there. You were lucky this time, Arvid. This was just a warning. There's your army. Hmm. Who? Eirik? Uncle Odvar? <laughs> Oh, are these the old people that didn't jump off at the start? We were supposed to do the Etta Stoop. It kind of goes against all human instinct to throw yourself off a cliff to your certain death. It's very true. Is that you are some sort of army of the dead? <laughs> Under my command? No, that's <laughs> not what I'm saying. I think I need to sit down and try to figure out what's happening here. Come on, Ivid. You can do it. You're alive. Yes. But you're still willing to fight for me, right? Of course. Yeah. Falling in battle is the only way for us to get to Valhalla. Sounds good to me. Let's make a plan. You can comfort yourself that the West is overrated. We have something that's far more valuable. Diamonds? No, no. More than that. Rubies? Not is. Theater. Yeah, theater. Theater. If I can just get a few key individuals out of that cage, we can show you an excerpt of this summer's play. Do the magic tricks. The magic tricks always work. Oh, she loves thee! No! She loves thee! I never felt this before. No, can we just do it again? Maybe now that we're warmed up? I have some kind of liquid. Out of my eye. Loved it. Here comes the pig to the slaughterhouse. Wouldn't they have got these weapons first? Not many. I thought you said he was alone. Well, he was the last time I saw him. Loki knows who those guys are. Parks leading the line. <laughs> I love the way he walks. Okay, fat so send me to Valhalla. Oh, that's a bit rude. I'm not fat. I have Big a big spine. So my stomach tends to bulge out a little. I'm going to spare your life because I understand you have been fooled here. Ah, oh, yes. The wisest man resigns, isn't that what they say, Ovid? You truly are big hearted. You're quite a man. You know. Well, your chieftain is very, very proud of you. So, uh, yes. I guess I'll take over from here. <laughs> oh, both of them as well. Oh, but I'm so tactile. More finger painting for him. Chieftain Arvid. Who would have dreamt that? I dreamt about it. And you were so strong. And Jarl Varg, well, he was an earl. Actually, I don't understand why every woman in town didn't throw themselves at him. Maybe because he's a psychopath? That felt more like a role he was playing, can't judge him by the bat. And even <laughs> a guy that bad you were attracted to. Sure. I just want to start with a clean broomstick now. 
Sure. You have any space left in your sty? You have a new roommate? Yeah, of course. Where there's a sty, there's a way. Oh. This is your new home! Uh, Fuck! You are never to approach the farm again. Oh, my God! I feel like a car. reason to look down your nose at this. Ugh. I mean, so I tried living in a house once. This is much better. Oh. Okay, maybe it's just his choice. I mean, he did say he loves being a slave, so... Jarlwerg, I choose to believe you have learned a lesson here in Nureim. Sorry that you have become Jarl handless now, but we have put our best uh, prosthetic smiths to work, and I must say I'm uh, incredibly proud of the result. Raise, raise your hands. <laughs> With this hand, you can eat just as before, uh, and That's the other true. one should work uh, just as a regular hand, though with uh, more stiff fingers. Yes. Perfect, David. So, uh, have a nice trip home. It's better than nothing. It's definitely better than nothing. No hard feelings, David. Seriously? No hard feelings? Oh, yes, I have hard feelings. Terrible and gruesome feelings. Hildur! I'm my dearest sister-in-law. So, uh, how do you feel about She digging? definitely went out. Do you like digging? Mm, no. Yeah, I regret that I didn't have you ravaged when I had the chance. She is grim sometimes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what you made me do, on? I'm surprised more people haven't pissed on him. Oh. For some people, that's a dream. It's me. We are sent from Tolenovin. I refuse to live in a semi-retarded slave for the rest of my days. Believe it or not, I'll rather escape with you, because you are planning on leaving, right? Yes, yes, let's go, let's go. Where would they go? In your face! In your face, I said! Fucking the animal! My ass, I said you, I said! And so does my ass go. This is not the last you've seen of me, Ivan. We'll be back. The chieftain's seat will be mine. We're not going back. Yes, yes. <laughs> ah! oh! oh, right in the crack. Hi, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I have some really fun news. There's life inside me. Oh. A little Arvid. Huh? A little Arvid? Mm. Uh, as in you, Arvid? I don't know. Yes! Isn't that great? But I don't want to interrupt you. Just go on and I see you inside. Yes? Okay. Uh, just a little interruption. There we have it. Season final of the first season uh, of Norsemen. And quite a way to uh end it not quite sure how she's got pregnant with either uh, not quite sure how she's got pregnant with arvid's child because i don't remember them ever having a thing apart from that brief brief moment where she was trying to hit on him but i don't think did, did she wank him off did she like grab some of his sperm or something or am i just overthinking this all i'm not too sure i'm sh but obviously i'm sure we'll get some more answers to that next season uh, obviously orm and rufus have got away also with hilda uh, no idea where they're gonna go i could only think either to england or jarl varg's way but i don't think jarl varg would take them in so no idea what their plan is they'll probably end up back very quickly somehow by making some sort of mistake because they're not the brightest bunch and Jarl Varg himself has had his hands chopped off. So where he he obviously wants revenge now. He clearly uh, definitely had some hard feelings, as he put it. And I don't blame him because that looked painful. But at least he can still eat. He's got a spoon for a hand. Uh, maybe he'll get a hook. It'll just be like Captain Hook. Could be worse. Could be worse. He could be dead. But yeah, so I imagine we'll get some sort of revenge story with him but yeah looking forward to it i really enjoyed this season really enjoyed it i think it's actually it, it's right up my alley in, in its humor and its dry sense just uh just really enjoyed it and it's a shame overall there's not that many episodes but obviously we'll be getting into season two next week and i'm really looking forward to it so i will catch you later